G'day cycling superstars. I hope you're surviving again in style. All right, we're going to venture into another part of the body for our self cycling massage tips. Now this time we're going to venture just a little bit lower through the body. So as you remember the last one, we cleared out the hip flexors, we hit the rec fam, a little bit of TFL. So all those muscles that you could basically are in that position where you're bending over and you're compressing all the time. Okay. This time we're going to look at the lower leg, okay, because it is part of our powerhouse. So this is classified as your leg, this is classified as your thigh, okay. So the leg today, we're going to be talking about two muscles in particular, the gastrocnemius, okay, or for short, the gastro, and then basically lying underneath that is what we call your soleus muscle, okay, and they do differ. Your gastros is renowned as being an explosive muscle, whereas your soleus is more of an endurance muscle. So when you're cycling and you get out of the pedals, there's a fair chance you're gonna hit the gastro more in terms of recruiting it, okay? Then when you sit back down and you're obviously just going through your, your normal cycling pedaling, okay, you're probably gonna use a little bit more of the middle distance or endurance muscle soleus. So they're both important, but they do work in unison. And then if we strip them back, then we've got some really deep toe flexors, okay, which are also important, but today we're gonna to concentrate on the gastros and the soleus muscle, which is really, really important for the cyclist. Now, as and if you haven't already noticed, I do love to work these muscles a bit different, but these are the techniques that I teach my cyclists who are away on tour so that they can actually do these themselves, okay? So it's really important. So how we're gonna set up here, and it's the, all about the positioning, okay? For a start, we're gonna get into a like a semi-lunge position. So we're gonna be working the right leg here. So we're gonna have some knee flexion, and we're gonna have a little bit of hip extension. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using what I call the butterfly approach, okay? So basically bringing the two thumbs together, and then we're bringing the index fingers together like so. So the point of contact will be this and this. So both the, of the index. We're going to come around and we're going to place it basically right over the belly of the gastro. Okay. So the idea is you're going to flare up a little bit, but then you're going to push down. And that's going to be a really, really broad contact. And we're going to work down through the tissue itself like that. The second part of this, and if you haven't already worked out, I love to work tissue through the range, okay? So what we're also gonna introduce is as, as we're working downwards, we're gonna bring in a bit of knee flexion here, okay? And then we're gonna bring in some hip extension here. So we're almost getting a bit of a stretch on the hip flexors as we work down through the tissue itself. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm going to use um, the Arnica today. The last video we used the Essential. The Arnica is obviously, it's gold because it obviously has the healing properties of Arnica in it. A similar consistency, but this is a great one to use if you've been really sore for a quite a while and you're wanting just that little bit of extra healing property. Okay, so as you can see, a nice liberal amount it's a great thing about these Premax products, they sell themselves. All right, <clears throat> now, butterfly, come in, broad contact, and then basically introduce a little bit of movement, and it's a slow progression all the way down, right down to the ankle, okay? So like so. Okay, so we're broad, and we keep the pressure on all the way down until we hit the back of almost the Achilles. Now, just at the back of the Achilles here, you'll find that there's also a couple of really great little trigger points in the soleus muscle, which will refer almost deep into your foot. So they're really, really important. So if you can focus on some of those with, once again, a broad position, you're gonna use your thumb, place it over the top, so you're not putting it and using your thumb strength, but just over your top, using your hand to reinforce, and work down at the back of that Achilles, and I'm sure you'll find a nice little trigger point that will refer right deep, almost into your Achilles, and then down almost under the heel of your foot, okay? So it's a great little great little spot, especially for, for cyclists. And if you've been doing the longer distance, 
you'll probably find this area is going to get quite loaded um, to the point that it may restrict a little bit of your dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, which is the main movement for your ankle when you're cycling, which is extraordinarily important if you're not aware. Okay, so it's broad approach, and then we're obviously getting in that knee flexion, hip extension here. We've already freed those up because we've done those last cycling tip all the way down right across okay if you want to focus on a few areas then the area that i would suggest the most is just on the inside of your achilles there so that's your achilles there you come on about a finger width in and you'll find that trigger point right in there and as i said refers right down into your foot okay so broad approach all the way down like so and obviously we would do the same for the opposite side so we get you in the same position okay like so except you're just using a different approach from the fact that you're going to swap your hands around, reciprocate and work all the way down like so. All right, now, love to hear your feedback, guys. If you've got any, plenty of feedback, I hope you're out there. I hope you're being safe on the roads, okay? It is so important that we're safe on the roads at the moment because there are probably more people out there. There's obviously some of you that are doing more riding and obviously more running and more walking. So. All these cycling um, self-massage tips can be applicable for runners as well, but we're really focusing on the cyclists at the moment. All right, guys, as I always say, just be bloody amazing at what you do. We'll see you next time.